Welcome to Greensorb TV. This is Tom Uska with Greensorb.com and we're in a kitchen that uh, everyday household in America. We have a cooktop here and we have a lot of different other items here that we're going to show you uh, the versatility of Greensorb because in the past we've shown you aviation hangers and uh, cars and how Greensorb works on oils and fuels and antifreeze soaking all of those things up and passing all of the EPA tests for safe disposal but Greensorb has a lot of versatility and a lot of range. In fact, it could be used in uh, household environments for detergent spills or you know, spill some wine or some milk or even some of these cooking oils here. And we're going to generate actually some bacon grease. We're going to cook up some bacon and show you how that particular situation where you have bacon grease in a pan, Greensorb can actually soak that up and make the pan dry almost to the point where you don't even have to wash the pan. And floor spills, like if you knock a bottle of wine over or spill some milk on the floor, Greensorb can actually dry the spilled liquid uh, to a point where you might not even need to mop the floor. So it's really quite amazing the range of the product and you know that it can be used in a kitchen environment at home or at a commercial restaurant. Uh, it can also be used in the bathrooms because it will soak up bloods and urines and other kinds of biological waste that you might ex experience in a bathroom. So wanted to let our customers know about Greensorb's range. So watch as we uh, demonstrate the product. Here we have the familiar cooking of bacon. All right, well the bacon grease is uh, cooled off and we've taken the bacon out of there. So we're going to start to add a few things to our mixture here. Hopefully it doesn't flame up on us. We're going to add some red wine. You can hear that kind of sizzling. The bacon is still... Bacon grease still hot. We'll add some milk. Let's see if that what that does for us. That's another nice, nice little mess there. Maybe that'll cool things off a little bit. So uh, spilled milk. In case you spilled some milk, we're also going to throw in there some uh, salsa, which has a consistency of uh, vomit in some cases. I mean, actually, that's a uh, very similar consistency, so we're going to throw in some. It's got some chunky tomatoes in there. You know, people say chunks. So we'll just throw a little bit in there for good measure. We're not going to put in the vegetable oil because we already have that, but we're going to add in some detergent. We have some typical uh, household laundry detergent, so we're going to show you. You know, we're going to throw that in there. And this is a nice, lovely mess of a variety of different types of spills. And we're going to now put some Greensorb on there to uh, show you what's now. What we're going to do is what we typically do on every uh, type of spill is we're just going to cover uh, the spill with Greensorb and let it dry it up. And then I'm just going to use my fingers to uh, um, soak it, you know, to move it around. And so you can see that the grease is still kind of warm, but we're adding Greensorb here. We're just making a film. It seems like we're using a lot, but we're really not. There is quite a bit of liquid here in this pan and you know bear in mind we use the uh, frying pan just to kind of give a place to contain the spill you know and you could actually use Greensorb on the pan it's not going to harm the pan and uh, we're just kind of soak you know covering the spill to the point where it's not darkening as much we're going to give it a little chance as you can see it's going in real time right now we're not hiding or doctoring the uh, the film in any way we're just adding, you know, Greensorb here, and it's just now to the point where it's still kind of turning brown. That's that's how you know that the Greensorb is working is because it's turning a darker shade. And Greensorb is a very safe particle. It's a it's an all natural product. It's mined here. It's made in the USA. Just kind of mix it in. And you get the idea that the uh, Greensorb is. Soaking up the spill, the uh, liquid is coming into the uh, particle. The grease, you know, we had a lot of bacon grease in here. Then we threw in milk, and then we threw in red wine. All the particles are dark. I'm just going to keep mixing this in. And you notice we also had some salsa in here, and and uh, the pan is dry. I don't know. If you know if the video shows or does any service to it, but that's actually you know the pan is getting quite dry. We probably need to add just a little bit more Greensorb in here, but I mean by and large this was a pretty large spill. 
and um, you know, just add a little bit more green zorb. But there's still a bunch of tan particles in here that have not come into contact. And so, you know, the, the mixture's still warm. It's actually still steaming a little bit. We'll just add a little bit more just for good measure, just to make sure. And um, this is not a dish I'm sure you'd want to serve to company, but the news is that basically this is now in a uh, encapsulated state, and the um, green orb is uh, basically fairly. Dry. All right, so. You know, bare and large, you know, we have the pan is still quite warm. The surface is still hot here. So, um, you know, it is uh, just a little bit warm to the touch. And that's uh, partly why the material is sticking to my hand just a little bit. But it is completely encapsulated. And um, you can see that, you know, there's no uh, liquid here anywhere. And actually the, the particles are moving around freely. It's totally encapsulated. Spill is totally gone. The grease, uh, oil that was in here, the detergent is all now safe to dispose of. And this is all just totally encapsulated. The pan is dry. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, dump this now into the typical garden. So you've just seen how greens orb can work on a variety of things like baking grease, um, spilled milk, spilled wine, red wine, um, cooking oil and liquid detergent among other things. So check out uh, greensorb.com for more information on a product. See where you can buy it online. It's available for most uh, web retailers. And this is Tom Uskup with Greensorb TV. Thanks for watching.